Hi, so I'm back now with my John Renault. This is my first human hair wig by John Renault. And this is Carrie. And this is the color Salted Caramel. Now I will tell you that I would have never thought I would like Salted Caramel. Based on the picture, it looks like it's like black rooting and then like weird orangey, like, I don't know, kind of looks like a pumpkin to me. So I would have never thought I would like Salted Caramel. And then I went to um, the wig store near me, uh, Haley's Designer Wigs. I don't know if she's on this side or not, but anyways, um, Haley's Designer Wigs, and I tried on uh, Alessandra in Salted Caramel. That's a synthetic wig. And I loved it. I was looking for like a strawberry blonde. It's really more of like a, a fall strawberry blonde to me anyways. Um, so I'm still looking for like a summer strawberry blonde. But um, I love the color. It, again, like, you know, it makes my eyes pop. And if you can find hair color that makes your eyes pop, that's great, especially people like me who have children and they um, keep you sleep deprived and you work full time, sometimes twice what full time is, um, you know, your eyes get bloodshot. So any colors that can help bring the color in my eyes out, I love. And of course, skin tone. I have um, warm undertones. So a lot of those like ashy colors and, um, Maybe some of the more like yellow blondes. Like I don't think Lugu or Palm, Spr Palm Springs Blonde would ever look good on me. Um, but the warmer tones look good on me. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you could probably wear whatever hair color you want. But if you want to complement your skin tone, then you want to try and find colors that work with that. So I'm more of a warm tone person. Ashy looks like gray hair on me. So anyways, this, um, this is Carrie. She's shorter. I got shorter. I need short for work. I work uh, in a in the, the psych realm and um, I'm a psych nurse and I um, I don't want to worry about people like wanting to pull in my hair because it happens and um, I uh, Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um kids keep getting in the way of what I'm trying to do here. I want to do it in the daytime where the lighting looks better because when I look at waves at night, the color looks totally different. So I'm just trying to help everybody else out. Um, this is not for my own vanity. But anyway, so I need shorter wigs for work because of that and also I just don't want the fibers to wear out while I'm at work wearing like scrubs and um, so I preserve my long wigs for when I'm not working and so i'm trying to find short wigs i um okay so i have a wig problem and i promised myself i wouldn't buy um any wigs in july of course i have an appointment in july to go to my wig boutique haley's so that probably will change but until then i'm not buying any because i kind of went on a little binge because i was making some extra money so anyways um I have two other ones coming in that are short too that I'll interchange. I've only worn, well, okay, so I had a longer Raquel, Raquel Welch wig that I wore to work and I apps and that one in a human hair wig and I interchanged them because they're similar in color, but I absolutely destroyed both of them. So I always had a headband over it because so you couldn't see the lace front and it was kind of annoying because it made it itchy. I don't know how to wear headbands without making it itchy on the wig. If anybody has any uh, suggestions on that, let me know. But um, yeah, so I uh, I wore those and then I went on maternity leave because I had a baby. And then I came back and I've only worn the Mina in 24BT18 Eclair. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> it's really hard to uh, do. Yeah, it figures the day I'm trying to do like wig reviews is when um, my kids are being super annoying and not giving me my space. Of course, I've never tried to have this sort of space, so we'll see how it goes. But anyways, um, so yeah, so I only wore Mina in 24 BT18. I'm her sitting right there. She's short. She doesn't brush on the fibers. Um, I've started telling people because I have two other short wigs that I find wearing to work. So I figured, you know, 
I, I just, like, if people ask if I'm wearing a wig, then, um, I don't have a problem saying it. Oh, no one has said anything. People, like, when I tell them, like, you know, this is a wig, and they're like, what? What are you talking about? That, that is not, you're crazy. I'm like, yeah, it is, and I have to go on that whole explanation. It gets annoying, so I don't always bring that up. But anyway, so I have another blonde coming in and a redhead wig coming in that are short. So those are going to be my work wigs. And I want to be able to wear both of them because I don't want to be trapped in having to wear one wig all the time. Let's see how many interruptions I can have today while trying to do this. So anyways, about this wig, um, it, you know, it just like brushes my shoulders. I think like, I'm really bad at doing that. But, um, like it touches below my neck. So this is like what I call mom hair, which it's still better hair than I had, you know, before I wore wigs. So I have nothing to complain about, but it's just, it's short. And um, I guess I just really like the long one. So this is different, but um, yeah, I just got to, I just want to wear short ones. I kept saying, oh, no, wear your long ones at work, but I don't want the fibers to rub, and I'd rather save those, you know, if I just wear them when I'm not working. Um, plus, I work, like, 12-hour shifts, so, you know, it's a long time for the, the you know, of the, the fibers to be rubbing. Um, but, yeah, so this is short. I mean, I've seen the videos on how to curl it. It's human hair, which... You know, I can definitely work with, um, I did notice right out of the box that this kind of was like up here. So I tried to take like a headband to help the fibers like push back. Um, but since it's not synthetic, I don't have to warm my hand on it. I can just, um, you know, get a flat iron or whatever and help push it back. Um, I haven't had like any shedding on this, which is pretty cool. I, I wouldn't guess that. I mean, I don't care if they're shedding because it'll stop at some point and there's plenty of hair to spare. So I'm not worried about that, but, um, this hasn't shed at all. Uh, it's got, um, so like it's got all this extra lace that you can cut, which I will, I'll get around to doing it. Um, and like with this one, like there's a lot of hair, so you can't even see the part because it's got a full mono. So, um, I mean, it still looks like a zigzag, even though I took the zigzag out. But, um, yeah, so, and then one thing I don't like is that the wig, the, it's, it's wefted, and this one has like a gap, like it feels baggy. So that's what I, when I can put my hand back here, that's the one I'm playing with. So probably I'm gonna go take this to my wig gal. I mean, I could do it myself, but I'm just running out of time. So I might just take it into my salon, the wig, Haley's designer wigs and have it taken in. Um, I feel like I should probably just redo this whole video because I keep getting interrupted, but I'm gonna commit and I'm gonna get it done. So, um, Anyway, yeah, so it's baggy in the back. Um, it just, like, if I rub my hair, like, it doesn't feel flat. I feel like there's, like, a weft poking through. But there's, like, a lot of space. I have a tiny head. But whatever the tiny measurement is, I can't remember. Is it, like, 20 and a half or 21 and a half? Um, I have that. So petite is ideal. Um, but they didn't have this color in petite. I got this on, I did not pay full price for this wig. I looked on wig outlet and um, they, sometimes like if you keep wigs in your shopping cart, you'll see that it pops up and it's cheaper. So when this one was like as low as I've seen it, I grabbed it. Same with this other um, wig that I'm really excited about. But yeah, so that's how I got this one. And I expect it to last a long time. I just need to not have it all, you know, like if I just let it go, like it's all gonna be in my face. So, um, which doesn't look bad. But, um, anyways, and this can be curled, it's human hair, so you can, oh my gosh, if I wanted to add color to it or something, I could. But I love this color. It's, uh, and the thing with human hair wigs is that 
the um, color isn't as saturated as a synthetic. Um, so it still looks really good and the rooting makes this look all natural. The rooting doesn't look too dark. <laughs> it's funny, it still looks zigzag and I kept trying to brush it out. But um, yeah, so other than like the, the bagginess of the weft, which honestly I have that problem with most wigs because I got a tiny head. Um, I think maybe it just feels a little more noticeable because this is human hair, but this doesn't, I mean, synthetics feel very similar. I, I like both. Um, so yeah, I'm not like, oh, I only wear human hair, I only wear synthetic or whatever. Um, I like them all. If, if I can even like some cheap wigs, um, you know, I'd like those. Some of those are kind of itchy, but, uh, other than that, I'm really excited about this. I have, I have just thought my wig because I can't decide and, um, I need to get the bagginess with the weft, like, like there's probably, like I can pinch like that much. So I definitely need to get that fixed. I think that'll help with, I feel like this, if I pull it down, it's fine, but um, it's not, there's no like, you know, since it's real hair, there's no permatease or anything. And um, so you can style it and volume, but it, so it makes it look super natural. I'm gonna get it near the um, sun. Oh, that looks pretty too. Yeah, you can see those highlights. Um, I don't know what kind of video pe stuff people use, but I definitely want some. So, because the hardest thing about wig reviews is showing the accuracy of the color. Um, oh goodness. Uh, so that's my sprinkler to spray my patio. So this is a pretty good shot. You know, the root is a dark, I think it's like a six, but this is a really good, you can see the, it's like blonde with amber. Um, salty caramel, I would say, is actually a really accurate description because it's like caramel mixed in and then it's got the rooting. Um, at first, because my hair is like a lighter, like even the 12 FS12 Malibu Blonde, that rooting is still darker than what my hair is. Um, but so I always thought, oh, I can't wear any of the darker roots, but um, that's kind of annoying. But um, now like after buying the, this, the, the salted caramel, um, I can't even remember what it what it's called, but um, the numbers, you can look it up. Actually, I have it right here. I look at these things all the time and you'd think I'd have all the colors memorized. It's FS26 slash 31 S6. So shaded S6 is, means it's like a, it's a dark brown. But like after buying it, realizing that it doesn't look that bad and it'll still look okay with, even if I have naturally um, lighter hair, it actually doesn't look bad at all. Now, I don't know if I could go like a, with a full black wig because then I might have to like color my eyebrows and I'm not, I'm not gonna color my eyebrows for any hair color. I'm not good at it, it'll look goofy and I think it'll be just fine with my regular eyebrows. So anyways, this is Carrie. John or no human hair wig. Um, I uh, will do follow-ups with these wigs so you can see what they look like after you've been wearing them for a while. And I do want to get this, like it's so baggy, like you can see how much I can pull. That drives me nuts. I'm gonna have to get that fixed before I wear it, otherwise I'm gonna be playing with my wefts all day. So anyways, I hope these videos, the multiples from all my interruptions, but I hoped they helped and you can see what a human hair salt caramel looks like and the difference in human hair um, versus uh, synthetic. And um, anyways, I hope this helps.